Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic, solving linear equations, question number three with me, Mr. Barton. Now this is becoming a very common site on GCSE exams, that solving equations in some kind of context. And the examiners seem to love the context of angles because it allows them to fuse two topics together, which is a very popular technique. So let's have a look at this one. Use the information in the diagram above to find the value of x. We've got an angle of 124 there, a mystery angle of 3x plus 34, and a pair of parallel lines. Well, if you know your parallel line facts, you should be able to spot there that we've got a lovely little Z shape. And what are Z shapes called? Alternate angles. You don't get any credit for actually writing alternate angles in this particular question, but it's always worth bearing those in mind for the angles questions. So what do we know about alternate angles? Well, we know that angles inside a Z are equal. Alternate angles are equal. So therefore, we can write a statement. 3x plus 34 must be equal to 124. <laughs> And there, we've got a nice little equation there. That angle there must be equal to that angle there. So now we can solve it to find our value of x. So I'm going to take 34 from both sides, and I'm going to be left with 3x is equal to 90. And I'm going to divide by 3, and I'm going to get x is equal to 30 degrees. But I'm not going to stop there, because this is three marks that I really need to get. So I'm just going to check that that's actually true. So if I substitute x back into there, I get three lots of x. Three lots of 30 is 90. 90 plus 34 is equal to 124, and that balances nicely with that angle, so I'm pretty sure I've got that right.